Um, we are working uh, with uh, the ministry uh, to get some sort of a tax exemption uh, for, for the sponsorship. So I'm pretty sure, you know, if we say tax exemption, if we sponsor and everything, a lot of companies will jump uh, into, into this. Uh, I, I, it's, a good, it's a good point that you raised uh, just now. We are, we are working with the ministry on how we can, you know, further give some sort like uh, advantage lah for those yang nak, you know, venture into the sponsorship or more response. Well, um, in terms of quantum, too, I cannot um, answer you because um, I think uh, that would be best coming from Petronas uh, because they, they are tracking all this, uh, the value uh, that they get from, from all the sponsorship. But um, during my time in, in Petronas last time, uh, a lot of things were looked into the branding side of things because when you sponsor, actually sponsoring is, is, is one of the... Um, media punya exposure uh, that we, that um, any company look into. So there are three things that uh, you look into when, when you go into the media mix. Eh? Uh, one is sponsoring, one is EMP, the other one is CSR. So all this, um, you know, if you really look into, you know, the exposure and everything, sponsorship gives you the most value because of the time. Uh, that you are, um, you know, um, uh, able to put your money into. I mean, I'm pretty sure if a company invests in a billboard or, you know, a network and everything, it's a very short span of time. Sponsorship gives you more value in terms of uh, timing. That's why a lot of companies go into sponsorship. Now, when we look into sponsorship value, um, there's a lot of things that we can look into. One is the, uh, basically, the quantifiable uh, value. The other one is the unquantifiable yeah, value. So those are the things that, uh, you know, um, sponsors really, really look into. So, so coming back to your question in terms of value too, I think Petronas would be the best uh, suited uh, uh, party to answer that. But um, based on my experience, there's a lot of value that comes from sponsoring a motorsports uh, team or event. Uh, due to the, you know, due to the eyeball, due to the exposure, due to the uh, people who's looking or following the sports and everything. That's why a lot of companies go into sponsorship. Hmm. Well, it's, it's always a question of uh, the chicken and the egg, like, which one comes first, right? Because when, when you know, you put yourself as a sponsor, you always want to see what value uh, if I put in the money, right? So, so that, that value we need to quantify first uh, before we go to the sponsor. Um, you know, a sponsor, a sponsor might say, why, why should I put uh, my, my, my money into something that is, you know, not, not being able to give me the, the best value? Might as well I put my money into something else, into other media mix like billboard or advertisement or, or something else, you see. But uh, it always goes back to the value uh, that, you know, an event or a program gives back to the, to the sponsor. Um, Petronas, uh, all these years, have been looking at this value uh, quite closely. Uh, I'm, I'm pretty sure, you know, if other companies are, are looking into sponsors, so they also look into the value that it gives back to them. So, like what I said earlier, if we can start something small first, like what you said uh, in Indonesia, like uh, Bakmi, for example, eh, they, they come in and everything. If uh, a local company uh, in Malaysia, uh, SM, SME company, would like to sponsor our, our talents uh, in, in, in motorsports, in mini GP, for example, eh, the, the, the lowest of the tier, uh, you know, they can come in uh, at a very small value. We are, we are always open uh, to discuss with any sponsors, you know, at least when they come in, you know, the brand is out there and then we can do a lot of exposure, we can do a lot of activation. Um, I'm, I'm pretty sure, you know, this, this will open up opportunities uh, for, for any sponsors. So, um, hence, that's why I said, you know, we, I, I, I rally all the private companies, big or small, uh, please do look at, um, you know, our talents and our program. I'm pretty sure we can give back the value that you invest.
Well, um, to a certain extent, the our investment in, in talent development is the intangible uh, value that I was talking about earlier, the unquantifiable value that uh, you know we have to put in. As as the home of Malaysian Motorsports, one of the things that uh, we have been tasked by the ministry is to look into the talent development uh, because um, in in Malaysia there's there's no specific entity uh, to look into Malaysian Motorsports uh, development uh, apart from from SSE. That's why I I hope uh, you know a lot of um, other private companies um, you know as I mean to a certain extent OEMs. Uh, we 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 collaborate. Uh, we open up the collaboration. Uh, you know because I I, I do think uh, you know we have to collaborate in order to for us to uh, bring up uh, this talent. We can't do it alone. Motorsports is a team sport. If we don't co collaborate, if we don't work as a team, I'm pretty sure we will not get anywhere. You know, moving forward. So so I do hope that you know. Um, a lot of cooperation, a lot of uh, entities will come uh, and discuss further with SIC uh, on how we can bring uh, our talent development to another level. Well, the decision uh, will be made by Datuk Razlan uh, moving forward, but um, I'm, I'm pretty sure he has some plans or some other sponsors to back him up uh, next year. I think we have to wait for, for his announcement. Uh, but, um, you know, moving forward, uh, the separation will be done. Uh, so, as I see, we'll no longer uh, hold a team uh, in MotoGP, Moto2, and Moto3 classes. Uh, and hopefully, we can, we can, I mean, our concentration now is to look into our talent development in CEV, how they can perform better. There's, there's um, you know, um, half uh, season to go. Uh, moving forward, they, they're on the way back to, to Spain right now. Uh, they just departed. Uh, hopefully, they can deliver their, their performance. And I'm pretty sure if they perform well, they show up and everything. I'm pretty sure there's a lot of team uh, that will be looking uh, for, for these talents. Well, like what I said earlier, I mean, talent development is, is one of the things that, uh, you know, not, not only we're looking at the ROI purely, uh, but uh, it's, 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 it's our task uh, to look into the talent development uh, for, for the, the country. I, I know that, you know, Motorsports has two wheels and four wheels. Uh, we have been concentrating all this while on two wheels. Um, you know, there's, there's still a lot of work to be done. But uh, we are also looking into the four wheels development as well, uh, together with MEM. Right? Um, so this is something that we hopefully we can uh, restart soon. So that we can we can build up the pool of talents uh, for for us to push in the international scene. Yeah, um, I mean uh, we are we are open. Um, you know, um, as 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 any basically contribution uh, to to our talents and everything. Um, I'm pretty sure we are willing to to look into it, uh, be it small or or big. Uh, but the cost, um, as as you know, you know to 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 bring uh, these talents to the uh, Spanish Championship is is quite high. Most of it is being um, you know uh, helped by the uh, support from KBS. Um, but um, I I have told the team that uh, you know uh, we we can't heavily depend on on the support from KBS moving forward. We have to look outside uh, right now to get the support uh, from from the you know private companies. So, um, you know, coming back to your question, as, as small as, you know, as a uh, few thousand, if, for example, they want to do, you know, one round or two rounds to put a logo or whatsoever, you know, moving forward and everything, I'm pretty sure we can, we can, we can discuss something. Yeah, that the, the door is always open. You know me. I mean, I'm an open guy, right? Uh, anything, anything goes as long as we can bring back the value. Um, hopefully, yeah, inshallah. We can we can do it. Oh, okay. Uh, well, part part of it. Uh, also, uh, I, I spoke to him uh, the other day. I think um, there there are a few things that is uh, going on at the moment uh, in MotoGP uh, last weekend, and also I think he is working on a new deal uh, for for the for the new sponsor to come in. 
uh, hopefully it will be announced soon. Uh, so let's 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 uh, you know let's wait for Dato Razlan to to do the announcement and then uh, you know we can he can tell you a bit more on what is going to be the plan for the future and who's going to be the title sponsor sponsor and so on. Well, the the, uh, the lubricants um, entering the bike, I uh, think to, to some, it might look very, very small. Um, I, I was there uh, during the, um, you know, uh, discussion with Yamaha uh, when, when they wanted to put, uh, you know, the lubricants and the gear oil uh, into the bike and everything. It's not an easy task because the Yamaha takes a lot of, um, you know, tests and convincing so that you know because the bikes uh, ni for for your information eh uh, takut nanti bila masuk minyak yang tak boleh uh, jaga the engine uh, the bike might stall and then the rider will fly right itu yang Yamaha bagi tahu last time dia takut kalau minyak baru masuk uh, kalau minyak tu tak dapat jaga engine tu betul-betul the, the engine might stall and then the rider terbang and then injured fatality that that is the apa that is the number one punya issue lah masa dulu masa Petronas nak masukkan minyak tu but alhamdulillah in a very short time uh, we met the spec uh, I think the the oil yang uh, masuk dalam bike tu uh, achieve uh, very good uh, performance uh, you can see it last year uh, last year was the best year for SRT uh, but apart from that also um, I think uh, one one of the objectives yang uh, nak uh, Petronas nak masuk or one of the main objectives is to step foot in MotoGP to do their branding <coughs> macam Formula 1 juga so these are the two main things yang um, apa, yang Petronas tengok lah uh, when, when they sponsor the team hmm, sebab Habib ni bawa uh, Datuk Razlan Uh, so nak kena tanya dengan Datuk Razlan lah apa bukan takkan Habib saja kita ada few Malaysians uh, if you know uh, in the team so perhaps kena tunggu Datuk Razlan punya uh, decision lah what's going to happen to the ni but I'm pretty sure Datuk Razlan will take care all of them uh, because he is really proud when when he say that you know this is a Malaysian punya team uh, there's a lot of Malaysian uh, involved uh, in the team Uh, bukan dari segi racing saja, tapi dari segi belakang tapi a lot of people yang Datuk Razal mahu masuk uh, sama from my side see also to help the team uh, punya management punya side lah uh, tak ada, because um, kita punya decision to move forward is Datuk Razlan will take uh, the team independent so uh, it's up to Datuk Razlan uh, to to decide on the sponsor lah untuk tahun depan ha, sebab all, all this while selection of rider kita lepaskan pada Datuk Razlan untuk decide because he is the team principal and selection of rider, selection of um, mechanics uh, the the people behind uh, the team and everything is all the responsibility of the team principal which is Datuk Razlan lah So all this one memang SSC tak masuk campur uh, berkenaan dengan pemilihan rider. That's, that's a very good question. Uh, Lai sikit daripada kita punya ni tapi more on uh, the talents. Uh, this year has been quite a tough year for kita punya four wheel punya talent uh, development because uh, macam last year uh, kita ada local punya championship and also The international championship like TCR and everything tapi tahun ni uh, TCR Asia uh, pun uh, tak dapat apa berjalan lagi uh, on top of that um, banyak kita punya funding untuk tahun ni pergi kepada two wheel as compared to four wheel uh, it's, it's not for it's, it's, it's not good actually uh, for us to continue like this um, we hope that um, moving forward more emphasis will be given to the four wheel punya development uh, we're going to start off uh, dengan um, apa creating our own uh, cutting punya national punya series so that we start you know people uh, competing at the go kart punya ni so that 
ada banyak lagi pool of talent uh, for us to push uh, in the international punya scene so that's that's the that's the way forward for for Will but for Mitchell Chia dengan Adam tahun ni coming back to your question uh, is it's quite tough uh, at the moment uh, due to the current uh, budget that we have uh, to support them but uh, hopefully we can we can uh, you know plan better uh, moving forward lah for for these two uh, boys Um, at the moment, tak ada perancangan lagi. There's, there's no, there's no plan yet. Uh, all depends on uh, because, as as you know, you know, forming uh, a team in the World Championship takes a lot of um, uh, budget or or sponsorship or cash uh, for that matter for us to form um, apa, a team uh, in the World Championship. Uh, but um, looking looking at the current situation right now, uh, I think we have to really look back at our uh, program. Our concentration will be more on the pada mini GP ke CEV dulu. Uh, get the boys ready. Get the boys, um, you know, prepared uh, for for them to compete in the World Championship. So bila betul betul dah ready, betul 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 dah very competitive and everything. I'm pretty sure, you know, we will get there. Okay, guys. Thank, thank you for the questions and and the session today. Um, I, I really hope that uh, you can help us to rally uh, the support uh, from from the private sector, especially because um, this this platform is really really one of the platform yang I rasa memang terbaik lah untuk for for any companies uh, to invest in, especially uh, in supporting our Malaysian talent. Eh? Uh, dekat um, apa in the international stage and and hopefully you know uh, you can help us to shout out more for for contributions to come in uh, to support us and also support uh, you know KBS in bringing up uh, these talents that will be uh, really really awesome uh, for all of us uh, please also shout out to everyone that um, you know keep supporting our talents uh, because we do have really talented people uh, and and boys uh, in the championship, the upcoming ones, especially. And we hope we can uh, produce more from the mini GP championship, so we can see uh, more talents going into the uh, world championship. Inshallah, pada masa akan datang. Yeah. Um, uh, on top of that, uh, please stay safe. Uh, jaga SOP. Uh, hopefully, we can meet up again soon. Uh, inshallah. Yeah. Take care. Assalamualaikum.